good morning. It is Monday morning. It is Labor Day here, which means it's a holiday. Um, we stayed tonight in a typical motel, you know, those typical American motels you see in movies. Well, that's where we stayed in tonight, which was all right, actually. I have no idea what we're going to do tonight, so this intro is going to be very vague. Um, but we'll see. Let the adventure come to us. Nice truck. for you but your coffee <laughs> your coffee is so shit um, Starbucks has nice coffee I don't really agree with the it's not my favorite company let's put it like that but they do have nice coffee yeah. you know So we're on our way to South Carolina, where right now we're in North Carolina still. I think it's about an hour before we get to... When we get to South Carolina, we're going to drive to Charleston, which is at the coast. Um, see what's happening there. Basically, we have no plan, which is really nice, because we can... Which is really nice, because you can basically do it. Okay, so we've made it to South Carolina, which... To be honest, is a little boring. Uh, when I was younger, I used to play this video game. It was called Truck Star or something. And basically what it was, you were driving a truck through America, delivering freight, right? And it feels exactly like that because it's like, you have the, here in, in South Carolina, you have these huge four lane freeways where nothing happens, okay? So you got two lanes here where you're driving, two lanes here, and there's a big, big field of grass in the middle. And that's it for kilometers and kilometers. I think we've been driving for two hours, at least two hours of the same image. Hey, yesterday, Anamik did most of the driving. I've been doing most of the driving today, which means there's not gonna be a lot of shots. So I thought, how can I fill up the vlog? Well, I was planning to do a um, question and answer thing anyway. So I thought, why not start with it now? So let's have a look. All right, so Anthony, Anthony asked, what happened to the girl who sold me the camera? Uh, Andrea girl is actually really nice. She might become a friend. <laughs> nothing much to be honest. She was very nice and we clicked and we, you know, nothing happened much. We didn't become friends, so we kind of lost touch. What camera do I use? Uh, John Barr asks, this camera is a Sony. I'm not entirely sure what kind of Sony to be honest. See. This is what I'm shooting on now. It's a Sony Cybershot something. It's a very basic model. It's like a point and shoot. I bought it from um, this other girl second hand for 100 euros. It works. Is it perfect? No, it's far from perfect. It's quite slow. Um, the image is not the size I want to have it, but it works. Uh, I do a lot of time lapses with my phone, with my iPhone. Great for time lapses. Not so good for normal videos because the software I use kind of messes up the, the audio with it. There's something with a frame rate that doesn't quite work. And then we have this one. <laughs> and that was... <laughs> I should really stop doing that. And we have this one, that my GoPro I use for uh, underwater swimming and... <laughs> I use for swimming. I use for swimming and for, for some stuff in the car as well. It's really nice. I always forget how nice the image from the GoPro is. It's not a real GoPro, it's um, SJ Cam. If you're looking to buy a GoPro, don't buy a GoPro because they're very expensive. This one costs 80 euros or 90 euros. Perfect quality, I highly recommend it. Look who's blogging says, um, did the guy that hit you at the car accident in the um, nude beach and the car crash video? We may have had a little bit of an accident with the car behind us. Did he have to pay for it? No, he did, she did not have to pay for it. Also, my friend Teresia, who kind of caused the crash, <laughs> did not have to pay for it either. Everything went fine. There was nothing there. How did the car accident happen? Well, the car accident happened. We were driving in traffic and um, 
Eurasia wasn't paying attention, so she kind of hit the brakes too late and then she hit the car in front of us too quickly. How come this girl had never been in a train before? You've never taken a train in your life? No. I don't. Anthony asks, is that the girl that sold you the camera? No, it was not. Miranda says I should be a David Hasselhoff impersonator. Thank you very much. Did I know the girl in the beginning of the video? Yeah, she's my friend. Was her shirt a reference to your name? No, it was not. It said um, black only, it's such a happy color. And then on the back it said something like, uh, I'll wear a different color for... F I didn't understand how old she is at the beginning, 30? Yes, 30. How long have I been living in Barcelona? I've been living in Barcelona since... Well, I moved to Spain in September, but I moved to Barcelona in February. So, half a year. Matthew asked, what's my new camera? That's the Sony thing. Is that my own skateboard? Yes, I did buy my own skateboard. It has a cow on it. Mel and Jonah ask, um, is there a slight influence of Casey Neistat? There's a huge influence of Casey Neistat. I love that guy. He's the best. Uh, <laughs> Grietje says she can hear my Dutch accent. That's very nice. Where are the nude beach shots? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, what's up with the beard? I don't know, but for now, it's all right. How did she turn off the... Um, camera while doing the backflip. You know I don't know. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna have lunch now. Lunch time, crunch time. After the unhealthy stuff of last time, very healthy stuff. I just warned me that the water is just plain cold. There's no heating in there. So, <laughs> and then he said. You know how I do, <laughs> you know how I do that the water is extremely nice thing every now and again? Well, it's not extremely nice. I just walked into the um, to the shop to buy a cup of coffee, and this American woman came up to me and said, "Happy Labor Day! Happy Labor Day!" Everything.